don't know, the world is a uh, crazy place. That's the video, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, carrying on with this self-care series, whatever the hell it is, I don't know. <laughs> Technically, this will be video three, so I can call it a series now, I suppose. Uh, the aim of this video is to hopefully inspire like creatives, like indie creatives particularly. <laughs> in the most articulate um, fashion possible. So yeah, that's kind of like the message of the uh, the video. So if you're um, a writer, if you're a filmmaker, if you're a musician, if you're an author, <laughs> which is a writer, <laughs> oh God, really like go for it. You know, now is the time to really push your creative works. Our, our society, <laughs> our global society, is um, on the verge of collapse. So what does that mean? Well, it's birth and destruction, um, or destruction birth, death. Of <laughs> it's creation and destruction, it's the cycle. So when things collapse, things have to be rebuilt. I think I need another coffee to get the, uh, the old um, divine inspiration going, I guess, I don't know. That was the perfect time to kind of seize the day you know it's like that carp dm thing because that is what the world needs we're getting so bored as a collective of of um selling it, it's that kind of sell mentality so there's a, a seediness behind that and um, that supply and demand thing you know find people's um weak spots or what they're lacking in their lives and try and sell something to them to replace it but a lot of it is it's not well intentioned to be honest it's it's just trying to get people's money out of them and we're in a cost of living crisis we've been in a lot, uh, cost of living <laughs> we've been in a cost of living crisis for the last two three years probably since uh, the pandemic that's kind of when it started um, it goes back to like the 2008 financial crash as well so that happened because you have greedy people in the world, you have people that have no morals when it comes to um, business and like people's well-being and things. Um, even the well-being industry now is, is um, tainted, it's, it's full of people that have just tried to um, sell a quick fix and in life there are no quick fixes you know that's that's the thing to kind of remember so when you are building um brands or, or pushing out your creative works just know it's it's not a uh, quick fix i mean i've had this channel since 2014 or 16 i don't know when um but i used it initially to kind of promote my acting that would that was it you know i, I just threw up my show reel um and whatever else uh, and it was the intention behind it was to promote my acting but um, yeah I stepped back from like pursuing a career in filmmaking and acting because um, honestly I, I saw how elitist it, it was um, and you know I got to a point I got offered a contract with the British Film Institute and um, I was going to do a short film with um, a director uh, so I signed up as the producer. Yeah, I mean the initial application when it got like accepted and then we were kind of invited for the meeting in Leicester I think it was, or Lincoln, I don't know. <laughs> One of the old words, I don't know. Um, it was a... It was an eye-opener into the industry I think. Um, so for years, for like about 10 years I'd, I'd kind of pursued acting uh, independently and I loved it for the fact that you met so many different creative people and all of these people um, had like other creative hobbies and things so you just kind of gelled with them because um, I'm very much like an all-round creative like I, I have interest in everything art music writing um, anything creative that expression thing so yeah it was it was an, an amazing experience to begin with like acting and filmmaking because i thought yeah you know this this is what it's all about it's about storytelling people coming together to tell stories and hopefully inspire and all that thing um but as the years progressed i kind of saw um a lot of people were doing it for the fame i i, I think i suspect because <laughs> i don't know um most of them did kind of go into the industry with that that thing that creative expression thing you know 
um, but yeah, with industries, I mean, the, the industry word itself means to get paid for something. That's kind of essentially what it is. Um, it's a field of, of something uh, with the intention of getting paid. So most industries are designed to kind of self, self perpetuate, I guess. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know whether to stop and just have a coffee. Yeah, in the world of business, which is kind of what our society is tailored to, um, this this beast society, I guess, and even like business, <laughs> it's a tainted word because essentially it's it's how do you get money from people? You know, that's kind of like the um, the intention behind business and industries is how do you get people's money from them in, in the most like strategic way possible. Um, so yeah, that's the video. <laughs> yeah, we, we got offered this um, BFI contract to do a short film and we had a, a, a series of meetings and emails and video calls and all that thing. And um, essentially they wanted to change the script um, and it just started to become something else and that's kind of when the alarm bells rang for me <laughs> and then covid happened so um the project was pushed back and the wait time uh, between it all i had a lot of time to kind of reflect and um when covid actually hit uh, i lost my job so i had to take up a uh, another job which was as a key, wear, uh, key worker in a warehouse. Um, so in, during that time, so COVID was that time to kind of reflect on, on life paths and <laughs> blew a bubble. Yeah, COVID was that period for people or it was like an opportune time for people to reflect on like the direction of their lives. So for me, I took that time to reflect um, and I knew I wanted to be creative and do something creative um and not not manual labor um i'm not really built for it you know i'm five foot three um i, I strained my back or pulled, pulled the disc in um 2018 i think so that was like the the big red flag <laughs> you know that i'm not supposed to be doing manual work um but obviously i didn't pay heed to it so that's when I, I looked into marketing and I realised how I'd already been doing it with my acting work. Um, so I had an agent for two years I think and then for the majority of that decade that I was doing acting filmmaking I pursued it. Um, a lot of the projects were independently found, like I was working as a, an independent actor. So yeah I realised I'd already been doing it so that's when I kind of uh, put the brakes on acting and filmmaking was like 2021 I think um, I, I had a, a few projects I think I did a music video a short film um, I did a workshop thing and I don't know I just lost that, that spark because I saw how uncreative the industry is the closer you get to the top um, and it is very much that pyramid thing you know there's only room for someone else's um, intentions I think the closer you get to the top and a lot of the time the intention at the top is money it's it's money minded it's it's not really about inspiring people it's it's tainted for the fact that they use um, and manipulate and base a lot of their industries on people's fear and lack and um, what people are missing in their lives instead of empowering so really like dark marketing is disempowering people and, and taking away and creating that need and creating that lack so you fill it you have like a product or a service to fill it so yeah it's it's very conflicting this whole world <laughs> society um is very conflicting but um as much as i like to believe there's there's going to be like a massive revolution where um it just all becomes utopian utopian yeah uh utopian euphoric like <laughs> boho um world um i don't think this world is designed for that i, I think it's designed to be conflicting um 
that's just kind of like the the basic primal law of this world is to be contrasting conflicted um, opposites polars you know without good there's no evil without evil there's no good so yeah hopefully that makes sense but I, I believe in like alchemizing things so transforming negative into positive and, and vice versa you know it's just a shame the world is very <laughs> unbalanced at the minute where it's it's negative like or, or positives being transformed into negatives you know so that goes into like the industry aspects where it's um, taking people's creative interests, taking people's like dreams and hopes and wishes and all that thing and then turn them into something they can just just slightly out of reach. If they do this then maybe they'll grab it. If they do that they'll 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 definitely grab it, you know, it's that, that thing. So that's why I don't like the well being industry. Um, a lot of it is set up to um, manipulate people into taking these steps to get what they want um, essentially. So why do I think it's the most opportune time uh, for creatives to really push their work and things? Um, it's because there's a need um, and a genuine need. You know, people are so fed up with how things are, fed up with everything from from like the macro to the micro. You know, everyone's just kind of fed up. There's that, that frustrated energy that's simmering like pressure. <laughs> you know, I'm a, a bit like. I still suppose <laughs> I thrive on that like that that who knows what's going to happen that chaotic little turbulent bit because I think there's always something to learn from it I think there's always like um, an opportunity for like growth in, in chaos and in trauma and pain and <laughs> so hopefully this video is to inspire if not here's a, a random meme that I found funny So yeah, I'm trying to structure this because this series was supposed to be about like self-care and things. So if you are creative and like you're in that, that rat race thing um, of getting very little time to focus on your creative works and oftentimes coming back from work and being exhausted. You know, I, I did that for years. <laughs> um, to the point I'd push myself into burnout because like I'd, I'd spend as much free time as possible trying to try and, um, and push in my creative work and really the goal behind it was just to kind of get it out there and um, potentially kind of replace like the day job but yeah now is the opportune time to focus on your creative works and really believe in what you do make sure you're choosing something that you you love regardless of like money or regardless of like attention or fame or, or external validation you know um, do everything that kind of drives your passion so yeah I don't know this is a random video <laughs> it's not structured at all but hopefully it's um, there to inspire and um, yeah I think that's the, the way to kind of combat all the negativity is to create and transform it turn the negative into a positive um, and we have the power to do that. I love that. <laughs> you know, you don't need money to do that. You just need a, a thought um, and willpower to turn that thought into something. I don't know. That's 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 it. I think. Um, if you enjoyed that, if you felt a bit inspired, <laughs> if you have no idea what I've just said, um, subscribe, guys, girls, non binds yeah, drop a comment and share your work. Just share it because you don't know if that's going to inspire someone else to, to create and it's, it's that chain reaction thing, you know. That's that's where the, uh, the excitement and magic comes in. You, you, you never know um, if you don't put it out. That's it. Stay awesome, stay classy, be kind and bye.